welcome back to the channel um i just found out that sony um, developed a web imaging edge webcam software i just did a video um looking at how we could use the sony a6400 as a webcam and i went through a whole lot of procedures only to find out that there's a sony edge webcam available now so i want to show you guys how to use your sony a6400 or the a6300 as a webcam on your pc so this is for windows right so one of the first thing we want to do is to go to sony's website and look for desktop application and image imaging edge webcam so i did I actually did a video a while ago um, covering imaging edge desktop and through the through the um footage or through the capture the capture from this um, camera into obs and then use it as a webcam using virtual um camera in this case then sony did um, what some of the other camera um, manufacturers um, are doing and they make an imaging edge webcam so i want to download this quickly so i'll choose download um supports only windows 10 64 bit if you notice uh, it is version all right so we want to select our camera version so let me see if i see my 6400 yes it's here so I'm connecting my 6400. If I was doing the 6300, which I'm recording on, then I would choose 6300, right? But for right now in my hands, I have my 6400 um, Sony camera. So download the Windows version. Six megs, that's pretty small. All right, I'll run that. Run. I just show how easy things become now, right? And next, agree to these. It's gonna install the necessary drivers and so forth, and whatever virtual hardware is needed, because I'm sure it operates on a virtual hardware. Just remembering that you're doing this over USB, and so it won't be the same quality as if you're doing it over a capture card, but you still get to see the nice quality from your camera. Good. So the download is finished. So it means then that I can now, um, if I were to open, for example, Zoom, which is your popular chat app, I guess, a video conferencing app, I could start a new meeting. And this is using the, the Streamlab for virtual cam, which is why it does that. So I'm going to select now Sony camera imaging edge, right? So once I select that, should be looking for my camera now. Oh, I need to turn on my camera. So turn on your camera, right? So looking for the camera now. Make sure the um, USB is set to PC um, remote control. Um, you may have to disable the smartphone um, file transfer on your camera for it to get this done, right? So I can now use this, and I may pump up the ISO a little bit, a little bit, so I can use this then as my webcam, right? A good thing is that it also shows that it's charging right um, so it means then that I can use this for a longer period of time as by a webcam good. so that's that's pretty good right that's pretty good for a for you to use your Sony camera as a webcam and that's pretty much it guys so you so you can also use the sony a6400 um, in obs by going to add new source choosing video capture device um, we can create a new source we'll call this my webcam sony right and you can now there's a new option now that allows you to select Sony camera imaging edge. Once you select that, 
make sure it's connected via USB again and done and that's it so I now have my Sony camera that I can also use to connect as a additional camera using OBS right um, just know that again the frame rates you would want it to be higher the resolution and higher but because we're using USB that might be some of the constraint but yet you still get that nice quality image so that's pretty much it guys you guys have a great day stay safe and go geek yourself